Hey guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and today, Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever. How does a dog get it? How do we diagnose it? And how will your veterinarian treat it? Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever is caused by a tick. Now, a tick bite, you need the right tick to spread the disease. Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever is caused by a rickettsial organism. The rickettsia is spread by when the tick bites down on the doggy. And it does take hours, guys. It's not like immediate. A lot of people believe it takes at least four to five hours, and it could take longer in some situations. So having a preventive cure on board, uh, topical or an, or an oral, can help prevent Rocky Mountain Spot Fever. Nonetheless, Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever is caused by a tick bite. You can have the American dog tick, the brown dog tick. You can also have the, the wood tick, I believe. A couple different ticks can all cause Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever if they are carrying the rickettsial organism. The diagnosis can be challenging because unfortunately, Rocky Mountain Spot Fever does not have beautiful symptoms. It's not like that's it. It's like that could be it. We rely heavily on history. If you roll in and you're like, I pulled a tick off my dog and it was there for a long time, of course, we're worried about a tick-borne disease or ailment. The veterinarian or you may notice a couple things about your doggy. A fever is really common. Waxing and waning, not wanting to eat or drink, feeling really lethargic and uncomfortable. Also, having like a polyarthritis, meaning the joints hurt, or walking on eggshells, kind of like Lyme disease. You may also notice some odd signs like maybe some joint swelling, some edema, um, warm appendages because of the fever. Overall, it can be super hard to tell what it is. Some dogs may throw up and have diarrhea, others may not. So we rely heavily on the history, but it does have, it is helpful guys to have a collection of symptoms to help build our case. If we believe guys it is Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, what we're gonna do is a couple tests and they're gonna be blood tests. Of course, if the doggy's having symptoms of let's say coughing, which is not common but can happen, and they have a fever, we of course will run some, maybe some x-rays of the chest. We may even do some blood work, some routine blood work to make sure the organs are okay. With that being said, we're also gonna pull blood work and send it off to a reference lab. This is gonna allow us to test for the rickettsial organism that causes Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever. A test may include blood work that does a PCR that will allow us to identify the organism directly, or there may be some antibody testing, which allows us to see if the, if the organism has been there or currently there. Any of these blood tests are really helpful to diagnosing the problem. Now, we're working on a diagnosis, but we need to take action, especially if the patient's painful and uncomfortable and has a fever. We need to do something about this. The veterinarian may hospitalize and put an IV catheter in for fluids. And if we're really walking down the path of it being a rickettsial organism, we will give an antibiotic too. And in most cases, it's a doxycycline medication. Doxycycline is a great antibiotic for rickettsial organisms. With that being said, other antibiotics could be given, pain meds may be given, and other supportive care may also be given. There's a whole bunch of things we're gonna do to correct the fever, manage the infection, and address any other abnormalities in the blood work or on the x-ray. In a lot of cases, these dogs do recover and do well. In some cases, if they're really sick, it can get really serious in a hurry. So treatment by your veterinarian right away is super important. Once you have the diagnosis, most veterinarians will treat with an antibiotic like doxycycline for at least three to four weeks. As I mentioned earlier guys, probably one of the best ways to prevent this is doing a flea and tick preventative. If the tick cannot sit on your doggy and chew and drink blood and then spit up that horrible rickettsial organism that causes Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, if they're not allowed to do that, they can't spread the infection and then we're not getting sick. If we're gonna be camping, if we're gonna be hiking, a uh, preventative for ticks and fleas is a really, really good idea. Remember guys, I know it's called Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever. We do see it out there in Colorado and in some parts of the Midwest. It does extend over to the Northwest as well. And we do see a couple cases off to the East as well in most years. So if we're gonna be going out, if we're gonna be camping and hiking, preventive care is way better than treatment. I hope this was super incredibly helpful. Hope this levels up your pet knowledge and it makes you ready to conquer a camping trip. And also if your pet has symptoms, 
get your pet healthier quicker. As always, guys, I'm Dan. I'm a veterinarian. Thanks for watching. You have a great week. Take care. Bye.